Let's now look at matters to do with the environment and President William Ruto has reiterated the government's commitment to conserving water towers in the country, including the Mao Forest. The president who was speaking in Samburu during a prize giving event for the annual Rhino Charge event say the government will pursue legislation that will see conservation thrive. David Shege, Deputy Chief Conservator of Forest, said Mao Forest is facing critical threat of illegal logging, charcoal burning, encroachment, calling for its uh, fencing. This year's event raised 173 million Kenya shillings, with the host community in Koteya being given 5 million shillings to establish a community project. Your partnership in fencing off some of our very important assets around our water towers is something that we are eternally grateful. What you have done in Mount Kenya, what you're doing in Abadeas, what you are, what you have started in Kakamega, and shortly we will be working together with you in fencing off the Mao as well. Mao, which uh, faces a critical um, threat from uh, encroachment uh, and a lot of uh, illegal activities that uh, threaten that, um, the issue of control, control and access is very critical, and that is where the fence will play a role where uh, we can be able to control who goes in there, how they utilize it. And now we are in need to seek your funding to complete the other fences of Kakamega Forest Fence Project. I'm very delighted to announce that a new partnership has been agreed upon between the MPSA Foundation and Ranoark.